Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. Uh, I did not have any time to work on the colony stuff, but um, in about the hour that I was allotted, uh, I w really wanted to work on the lathe uh, cargo transport SSTO. I thought about my approach from the last time I did this, and I realized that I had been using a lot of parts that were very uh, drag happy. And I know that with one shot cone, you can actually power four rapiers by themselves. So I wanted to slap on more fuel. And also I wanted to make sure that this thing could keep in communications with Kerbin all the way out there. So I put a the biggest uh, relay dish I could put or find uh, on the craft. Now, sadly, there were some times where uh, some of the planets and moons got in the way of the signal. And in order to make sure that everything was going okay, I had to go back into settings and turn off or enable comms. In other words, in order for this to actually work for a robotic SSTO, there would actually have to be some sort of comm network going on in the system or around the system so that the uh, communications don't get blocked, or at least don't get blocked as often. I actually like the one shot cone approach, it, it, it makes it look way sleeker and definitely helps with drag. Now the unfortunate thing is, is that because <laughs> uh, I was exhausted, I came in to jewel a little, uh, um, whoa what, my jewel interception was a little off. Instead of going the direction of the orbits of the moons around jewel, I went in the opposite direction. which. Uh, of course, ended up in complete and total failure, but I didn't have the uh, uh, time or, yeah, just time to uh, go back and fix that. So from what I've read online and what I've seen, uh, you, you actually use Jules moons to slow your, you know, slow your orbit. You come in from the right side of the orbits so that when you sling around Tylo or Lathe, you're slung in the direction of the orbits in the same orbit as the moons are around Joule. So that by the time you actually get to where you're going, you're going about the same type of orbital speed as the rest of the moons are, which helps in your re-entry or descent. However, my dumbass decided to go the opposite direction, which means that I'm doing like double or even triple the speed going in the opposite direction around Joule. And of course, I knew I was dead when I, when I realized this. So I said, yeah, screw it. Might as well blow up around Lathe for now anyway. So yeah, um, I guess you could call this video algorithm food, in which case I do apologize to everybody. I know you were looking forward to the uh, the colony stuff or something, you know, legitly new, a new craft. But don't worry, things, things are coming along. All these long hours are for a purpose. Just trying to make it through the month, one at a time. I've got vacation coming up here soon, so I'm actually going to work on getting that membership thing up. And what do you guys think about a Patreon? I've done it before, and I had like 12 or 14 different patrons, and they were very, very supportive. But that was way back in the day. But who knows? I might start that up again. And of course, there's the merch. But we'll see. It's a lot of things to take care of. And also the craft download stuff as well. Again, don't forget about the uh, Saturday, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time stream that's going to be coming up here pretty soon. Hopefully, hopefully I can see you all there. Thank you again for watching, and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. And uh, hey, um, the pirate ship is turning out to be pretty cool for the stream. I put something in community tab. You can go ahead and look at the uh, outline of it, because I don't want to give any spoilers. So, all right. Love you all. Take care, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye.